Hey, hey cats, what's happening? I am uh, sitting in the parking lot in town today at the urgent care for V. Not to panic, it isn't like anything <clears throat> major emergency, but it's a Saturday, so you know, their doctor's office is closed, so we end up coming to uh, this quick med urgent care so she can get some uh, needed medication. And these things always happen on the weekend, you know. Uh, if you're, you know, you get you get sick on the weekend and the doctor's office is closed, you get, your pet gets sick on the weekend and the veterinary clinic is closed. But anyway, we uh, <clears throat> keep her in our prayers uh, and hopefully this will give her some relief. Anyway, while I'm sitting here, I thought I'd chit-chat for a while. I was recently asked by an, uh, another fellow blogger. He, he does uh, motorcycle videos. Goes by the name of Bodine52. If you haven't checked him out, look. Uh, you might be interested in looking at his, his channel there. Uh, he likes to ride his motorcycle while he's doing his discussions and he touches on some interesting uh, topics Bodine 52 but he asked me or, or well, he was kind of concerned because he was amongst some other bikers and he walked up to this biker and he said you know something like hey what's happening brother and the guy said don't call me brother and uh, Bodine was, was kind of offended by that, and he, he said, I can't understand why somebody would get, you know, irritated because I called him brother. Uh, you know, he, he, he tends to think that if you're riding a motorcycle, you all have the same thing in common. Uh, so, you know, there, there's like a, a, a unsaid brotherhood there, and for you to call somebody brother is, is okay. And it might be depending on, you know, the company that you keep. I don't know if you ever watched Dog the Bounty Hunter. He went around and called everybody bra. Not bro. Bra. Please don't call me bra. You know, I'm, I'm not a, 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 like a woman's bra. Weird. How, how they bastardize these these terms you know I think it started out with the, the word brother and then I went to bro hey bro what's happening uh, but yeah so here's my take on it anyway now I've got some experience in the motorcycle clubs I have never been a patched member of a 1% club, but I have ridden with some 1%ers. Um, I rode with a club many, many years ago, and I was a fully patched member of Rolling Thunder, which is not a 1% club. So, but in that culture of being in a club, you know, I had some characters that I rode with that I was very close with. You've seen the uh, acronym for, you know, LLHNR, love, loyalty, honor, and respect, it is, you know, kind of a, a, a hardcore biker term that they take very seriously in the clubs. And that has a lot to do with the brotherhood. It's like a bond of a tight bond. Uh, that you gain uh, when you're in the club and you ride with these guys all the time and you learn to trust them. It's, you know, all about the love, the loyalty, the honor and the respect that, that comes from being together like that and spending a lot of time together behind the handlebars knowing that you can trust that guy to ride with him that he's there when you ride tight and you know and he's right next to you and through all the experiences you've been through with him you feel like you know when he calls you brother that's an honor if you're not a member of the 
club, and, and I'm I, I will say let let me let me put this more into perspective. Probably more serious with a one percenter club. That brotherhood is taken very seriously. If you're not in that one percent club and and you walked up to a one percenter and said, "Hey, brother, what's happening?" Most likely, it wouldn't be met very pleasantly uh, and you'd probably hear the same thing don't call me brother you're not my brother and they may not say it that politely <coughs> because brotherhood is is a very tight bond with these guys personally when people come up to me and say hey brother what's happening it, it bothers me a little bit if I don't know you if you're just, you know, some other biker and walk up to me and say, hey, brother, what's happening? It, it bothers me because you're not my brother. I don't even know you. How could you be my brother? So you ride a motorcycle. That doesn't make you my brother. There's no bond there, you know. There's no loyalty. There's no... I don't know. It, but that's because I've been, you know a long time in this culture and that kind of comes with it so if you haven't had experience in a club obviously you're not going to understand uh, that that bond that that tightness there to be able to call somebody a brother and a lot of guys resent you know the, the shortening of the term bro hey bro what's up you know that it it doesn't work either. There's a lot of clubs that go by the the name Brotherhood. You know, the Brotherhood of old bikers, the Brotherhood of, you know, they, they have and and that's why they call it a Brotherhood because they're they're tight, you know. They call each other brothers. As for me, I don't have anybody at the at the current time that I would walk up to and say, hey, brother, except for my own blood brothers. I have four brothers. And, uh, you know, I would call them brother, but uh, my days of, of the being in the clubs are, are, are done, I think. I think. I don't know if there's even a chance that I would ever be a club member again I just enjoy the the, the freedom of, of not having those rules and that not having that uh, I don't know <laughs> that rule over me telling me what I have to do when I have to do it how I have to do it I'm done with that you know I want to do things my own way now I want to go where I want to go now and uh, I also learned from past experiences that even the guys that you thought you could trust, even the guys that you thought were, you know, you had a tight bond with that you could call brother, I wouldn't call them brother anymore. I wouldn't call those guys personally my brother anymore uh, because they didn't prove to have that loyalty that comes with that so anyway that's my rant today on on that topic um, as far as anything else um, I don't know just dealing with between dealing with my mom uh, having her issues and then Val having uh, a lot of problems here lately uh, it's it's my mind's been more focused on them so it's it's difficult to get involved with a whole lot of other things at this point so I appreciate you guys support I appreciate your prayers and uh, I appreciate the suggestions for discussions I'm always open to talk about just about anything you, you give me an idea and I'll run with it uh, you may not agree with me and that's fine you don't have to I'm just you know, throwing out my own viewpoint and just opening it up for discussion so we can talk 
love to see the comments down below leave your comments uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the videos if you haven't until next time cats ride hard die free